Welcome back to Miss Mac Story Shack. And I'm super excited. Oh, you might have noticed I added a little seat. I'm an old lady and I needed a little bit of support here in the Story Shack. So I added my blue rocking chair. I am super excited to share this story with you today. This is another one of my classroom favorites, but this one is a favorite of lots of generations of children. This is Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. What's super cool about this story is Dr. Seuss wrote the words, but he also drew the pictures. He is the author and the illustrator. What a talented guy. But Dr. Seuss's book would never have come to life if it wasn't for Random House Publishing Company. And they have given me permission to share this story with you today. So thank you, Random House, for allowing us to read this wonderful book today. Random House made the front of the book. They made the back of the book. And they also made the, let me hear you in the back. I'm touching the spine, the spine of the book. All right, so here we go. The title of this story, it, the title or the name of the book is Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. I am Sam. I am Sam. Sam, I am. Hey, wait a minute. Sam, am, Sam, am, Sam, am. They rhyme. Those two words sound alike. When the middle and the end, they sound the same. It rhymes. It rhymes. When the middle and the end, it sounds the same. It rhymes. It rhymes. I think we might hear a lot of words that sound the same or rhyme. Let's see if I'm right. That's Sam I am. That's Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Do would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. I am hearing a lot of words that sound alike, lots of rhyming words. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? Squeak, squeak. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Whew. I think he's feeling pretty angry. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Hmm. He doesn't look angry. He looks happy and he's being very persistent. He keeps asking over and over, do you like green eggs and ham? And this guy keeps saying, I do not like them, Sam I am. He's very, very persistent. Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Would you, could you in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not in a car. You may like them, you will see. You may like them 
in a tree. I would not, could not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. A train, a train. Could you, would you on a train? Not in a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I could not, would not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Woo. He's pretty mad. I don't think he likes green eggs and ham. <gasps> Say, in the dark, here in the dark, would you, could you in the dark? I would not, could not in the dark. Would you, could you in the rain? I would not, could not in the rain, not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. You do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam. I am. Would you, could you with a goat? I would not, could not with a goat. Would you, could you on a boat? I could not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. He really meant that. All capital letters and an exclamation point. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> he doesn't even like them under the water. So... You don't like them, so you say. Try them, try them, and you may, I say. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. <laughs> he looks like he's exhausted super, super tired of Sam asking him if he likes green eggs and ham. He looks super exhausted. <sighs> Here we go. They are all watching in anticipation. They are like, oh my goodness, here he goes. I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam I am. And I would eat them in a boat. I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a train and in a car and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a fox, and I will eat them in a house, and I will eat them with a mouse, and I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam. I 
L. The end. Oh, I just love that story. I love, love, love it. Dr. Seuss is probably one of my favorite authors. He's so fun. His words always rhyme, the middle and the end. It sounds the same. And he's such a talented guy. Look at his pictures. Oh, so awesome. One of the things I love the best about this book is it teaches us a really important lesson. Hmm, what could that lesson be? Eating green eggs and ham? Maybe. But at the beginning of the story, look at this guy. Nope, doesn't want to try him. Doesn't want to try him. I think he tells him about a hundred times in this story, I don't like them. I hear that a lot. Whenever I serve something new to my kids at home or students at school, I hear, I don't like that. Or if they don't say I don't like it, they do this. Well, so I have decided that today I'm going to try something new. I have heard an awful lot about hummus. It's made out of a chickpea. Mm. I don't like chickpeas. Oh my goodness. It kind of looks like cat food. Who wants to eat cat food? I'm not a cat, but I've heard that hummus is really good for you. And if I'm getting old enough to need a rocking chair to put my hiney on, I'm getting old enough to probably try some hummus that's supposed to be really good for you. I am not excited about this. I feel a lot like this guy. I am not happy to try something new. Mm. I do have a Ritz cracker and those I've had before. And those I really like. Okay, let's see. All right, here I go. Oh, I almost dropped it. Probably belongs on the floor. All right, let's see here. Oh, I'm not gonna like this. Doesn't even smell good. It doesn't smell like chocolate or peanut butter. Those things taste good. All right, let's see guys, here I go. Oh, I feel just like him. I do not like it, Sam, I am. Here I go. Hmm. Guess what? I do like hummus. That is awesome. And you know what? I would have never known that I liked this pasty looking treat if I didn't try it. So boys and girls, always make sure before you say, I don't like it, try it. Because just like Miss Mac, I wound up loving hummus. And don't forget in our story, see how he felt at first? Wah. He's not gonna like it. But then, he tried it, and he did. So don't be afraid to try something new, even if it's green or looks like cat food. Have a great day, guys. Love and learning.